Shalom, Kahala Yahweh, Baha Hashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Rekaha Kadash. The Ba'aners and to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who have taught me this truth, who will well teach well with much diligence, peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect. Kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth. Brother Amawaf from the Great Millstone Branch of Los Angeles. And I'm back here with another lesson this morning. Um, Top of the morning, very top of the morning. It's 4:51 uh, a.m. Today's date is uh, March 28th, uh, 2022, Monday. Another day closer to uh, Esau's uh, downfall and the uprising of our kingdom. How do we know that? With the signs that are happening on the earth, you know the, the pestilences, the famines, the war, you know the, the, the troubles. All these things are the uh, are the uh, uh, beginning of sorrows, all right, and all these things will be happening before Yahweh Shad makes his grand return, and um, in this lesson, we're going to be real, very quick, i really just going to bring out uh, one scripture, really, um, I, I entitled this, The Curses, you jakes, man, you're under curses, man, check this out, that's why I could see you speaking, Black liquor store owner has jaw broken by officer responding to robbery at his store is suing the police department. Now, I know brothers probably just brushed over it. You know, it's just another, it's just another, um, another, another, um, uh, telltale sign that you Israelites are in Atlanta, your captivity. This is not your rest. The Lord said when you were going to be, uh, birthed into, the world, you were going to be cursed. The Lord said that our seed was going to be cursed when we were going to be born, and cursed when we leave out the city. How is it written? Cursed shalt thou be when thou come in, and cursed shalt thou be when I come out. Cursed shall be thy store basket, thy store. You know, the the your own uh, enemies, right? They're not going to protect you, man. Right? Here it is. You look at Tuska, Oklahoma. Jake's they 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 uh um, they had this big uh black economy so to say you know Jake was was doing well hospitals they, you know own home police department neighborhoods was good and then what did Esau come and do drop bombs on it Tuscaloosa Oklahoma you know now this this store he's a store owner and he has here it is he's he's calling for help. You know, uh, uh, for a robbery, he he's the one with his jaw broke you. You know, so you Jake, you 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 you. It doesn't matter if you got a good job, good house, good wife, all that, all that the American dream lifestyle. You are still looked at as a nigga, man. Right? You could be doing the right thing and still be looked at as a criminal. You know, you could still be doing the right thing. Right in this captivity, and still be looked at as a criminal, man. Jake's going to the bank, going to go cash a check, and, and the banks is calling it fraud, calling in the police, shut down the doors and shit. You know, so everywhere you go, uh, Jake, you have a dark cloud over your head, man. Why? Because we are under the curses because we broke the law, statutes, and commandments, and all these. Curses overtook us, man. So let's read this from the first verse on down. And um, I'm going to just uh, just read this and just close it out and uh, just go on about my day. You know, I woke up super early just to, you know, get this off. So, Lord willing, this is edifying. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 1, short and sweet. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy power, to observe and to do all his commandments which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. This is Moses speaking to the Israelites, right? You so-called Negro Latinos and Native Americans, our forefathers, before we were entering into the land of um, during and before the Lord was giving us law, statutes, and commandments. And all these blessings shall come on thee and overtake thee, and thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, right? It said... Um, Blessed shalt, blessed shalt thou be in the city, and blessed shalt thou be in the field, right? These blessings will overtake us. And at one point, right, we were living uh, in sovereignty 
with these blessings overtaking us at one point, mainly uh, King Solomon, right? And after him, right? Or we were still somewhat on the level. But once Israel got booted out of the land, that's when it all went downhill, right? And these blessings came. We, we, we kept the statutes, laws. We were able to get in the land. But then what happened? We broke it. Blessed shall thou, for his four blessed shall be the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy ground, and the fruit of thy cattle, the increase of thy kin, and the flocks of thy sheep. Right? The Lord were going to, he, he will increase, you know, our, our seed, man. Because seed, fruit of the body, is resources, man. You know, you, you uh, when you have children, that, that multiplies your household. It, it, it enriches you. They're able to create for the house, they're able to go work for someone, they're able to make more kids, right, scriptures say, uh, blessed is the man that have his arrows full of them, it says, um, verse 5, blessed shall be thy basket in thy store, blessed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and blessed shalt thou be when thou goest out, right, and, and at one time, we, we were blessed, but these blessings were going to overtake us in the kingdom anyway, but, but at one time we were uh we were living we were living at one time. But we broke we broke these things. The Lord shall cause thy enemies that rise up against thee to be smitten before thy face, they shall come out against thee one way and flee before thee seven ways. Right. When we came into the land of Canaan, these enemies fled before our eyes, man. The Parasites, the Girgashites, Hittites, all these nations, the Ammonites, the Moabites, the Edomites they fleed seven different ways, fled seven different ways. They they heard about our, our terror. You know, they heard about how we how the Lord our power was with us, and they feared us because we kept the Most High's word. The Lord shall call, shall command the blessings upon thy upon thee in thy storehouses, and in all that thou settest thy hand unto, and he shall bless thee in the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Right? And... and and, and, hey, like I said, this happened at one time. Verse 9, the Lord shall establish thee in a holy people unto himself, as he has sworn unto thee, if thou shalt keep the commandments of the Lord thy power and walk in his ways. Right? And all the people of the earth shall see that thou art called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of thee. And that at one time they were afraid of us under King David, Solomon, their sons. They They feared us, man. Because we kept the word of the Most High. And the Lord shall make thee plenteous and goods in the fruit of thy body, and the fruit of thy cattle, and the fruit of thy ground, and the land which the Lord swore unto thy fathers to give thee. He multiplied rain for our fields, right? Our cattle and all that. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. This Jake here, he had to uh, borrow. Most likely he had to go get a loan from a bank and start up his business. Or he could have just had money and, and do it his own way. But really, Jake ain't got it like that. So most likely you're taking out a loan. So you, you're going to the enemy for the one of all things. Let's read that again, verse 12. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure, the heaven to give the rain, unto thy land in his season, and to bless all the work of thy hand, and thou shalt lend unto many nations, and thou shalt not borrow. You jakes are borrowing, you know, a storefront. You know, we're going to buy out the block. We're going to buy, you know, you, 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 you're being let, being lended out these loans because you don't have it. And when you get these businesses, you got to pay back those loans. So you're in a rat, you're in a rat race, man. It says, And the Lord shall make thee the head and not the tail, and thou shalt be above only, and, th and thou shalt not be beneath. If, thou, if that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, which shall command thee this day to observe and to do them, and thou shalt not go aside from any of the words which I command thee this day, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. And, and he, he doesn't worship the Most High. Right? His beard lined up. And maybe he does know he's an Israelite. Who, who, who's to say? But the thing is, he got his jaw broken, <laughs> you know, for for uh, for no reason. And there's a reason behind that because we are, we are cursed on this side, but 
coming back to Yahweh by Shimei Awashai, he maketh our enemies to be at peace with us. That's why it's important to fear the Most High behind enemy lines. So we can be prosper in our ways, man. Jake, forget that where they at, man. They think that they can just, oh, we're going to start our own economy. We're going to start our own reward, award show. We're going to start our own this. We're going to start our own that. No. You go. You got to go to the enemy for the one of all things, man. Jake didn't just get the status just to get it. Yo, enemy gave you that those goods, man. Verse 15, But it shall come to pass, if thou shalt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which are commanded this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. And, 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 and we saw, we seen this in slavery, man. We see this today. Jake, you're cursed when you go out in the city. You're you're a vessel wherein there's no pleasure. Let's get that real quick. When you go out in the city, these nations look at you like, <laughs> they hate you. Our Hosea 8 and 8, Israel is swallowed up. When you look up the word swallow, it means to be devoured, tore down. Now shall they be among the Gentiles as a vessel wherein there's no pleasure. You know, we're amongst these other nations. They don't have no pleasure on us. Oh, 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 Israel, who is he that will have, uh, um, I forgot how it's written, but who will have mercy on thee, you know? You jakes are, are, are out here uh, uh, looking for protections. No, why me? Why the black? Why, why are us as a people? It's because we broke the day. We broke the law, man. So get it. We 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 got to get it right, man. Let's go back here. Deuteronomy twenty eight seventeen. Cursed shall be thy basket in thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy clan, the increase of thy kid and the fox of thy sheep. You know, thy basket in thy store. Most high wasn't going to increase your store, right? Everything that your hands is going to put get put on, put to, it was it was it's not it was not going to prosper. Verse 19, Cursed shalt thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shalt thou be when thou goest out. You know, you jakes are coming in, get, getting done in, man, coming into this world, getting taken out brutally, living a hard life, man. You know, the Lord shall send upon thee these cursings, vexations, and rebuke, and all that, the, and all that thy sin is thine hand unto for to do, until thou be destroyed, until thou perish quickly because of, thy, of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. See, that's the whole point. Until thou perish quickly because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. Scripture say it is a bitter and evil thing that the Most High fear is not in Israel. Therefore, when they break these laws, statutes, and commandments, the Most High sin. Uh, send all these plagues into him, such as this. Black liquor store owner has jaw broken by officer responding to robbery at his store and suing the police department. And th and this is one of many uh, incidents. Uh, until you try, man, you 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 call the police. Next thing you know, you're the one that's getting you going to jail. You know, your woman. Uh, or whatever, like, some argument with, uh, with your wife or whatever, she may hit you, or whatever, you the one getting locked up, or something, like, you, you just under the curses, man, or both of y'all going to, you know, however Esau wants to do it, right on that report, plant drugs on you, he, he, he can do it, man, because he's the devil, and that's the most high whooping stick on you tries, man, so, it's about fearing the most high, man, and things like this wouldn't happen. You know, but uh, it's unfortunate, but, hey, we, we we cursed on this side, man. But in order to reverse those things, we have to return unto the one that had, that we were forsaken, which is Abba Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So I'm in the third. Kahala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakaq Until the next one, I say Shalom.